How many more can there be? She's weakened. Not worth the risk. What are you doing here? We're mercenaries. Currently on King Hansel's pay. We were sent here on reconnaissance. Barely escaped with our lives from that mist of specters. Now we're up against a furious she-troll. Who are you? Geralt of Rivia. The White Wolf. We could use professional help, would you? Help us. I can't let you kill her. Since when does a monster slayer take their time? None of your business. I need her, and you need to leave. She killed two of my men. Walk away, and nobody else will get hurt. You won't help? Fine. Just don't disturb us. We'll manage ourselves. The troll needs to live. The troll will die. Then you'll have to kill me, too. Enough! We surrender! Throw down your arms, men! Spare us! Witcher! The king will pay our ransom! I'm not looking for a ransom. Leave the troll alone and go your way. You'll let us go? You can't return through the mist. It's certain death. The soldiers of fortune. We're not afraid of death. Neither do we foolishly seek it. The Witcher's right. Commander, we were to find a Witcher. A bald one with a snake medallion. This one's white-haired with a wolf on his neck. You're looking for Letho. You know him? You could say that. I'm looking for him too. What do you know about him? Sheila de Tanzerville told us to search the ravines for this Letho. All we found was a camp strewn with dead Scoia'tael. This Letho was responsible for the bloodbath. And he did not act alone. Where was this? On the other side of the Wraith's Mist. What were you to do with him? Kill him. And anyone with him. Anyone? Are you sure? That was the order. Do you know where Letho is? Somewhere on the other side of this mist. We found a trail, but then the mist descended. We got lost, and emerged from it here. I advise you to surrender to the rebels. That would be new to me. I am Adam Pangrat, known as a dieu. You won't survive for long out here. They'll hang us. They know Ensilt hired us. Go to Cecil Burden. He'll treat you fairly. But don't count on him outbidding Henselt. Hear that, boys? Let's meet the Dragon Slayer. 
The Witcher claims we'll be safe and sound. Gather the wounded. Stop buggering and move out. Humi's trolls see to kill Humi's itchy would kill trolls, sure. You other, good you help, troll you help. If you want to help me, go back to your old man. No, Idjit Humi redhead grope. He's alone now. He misses you. Tell him too late. Know anything about the woman who is in your lair? Troll, no. Humi ugly. Humi stinks. Return to your husband if you want to repay me. Troll don't want, but troll will. For you other, you good. Mrs. Back, good. Troll like. Me back for Wisha asked. Stay away if we shall not ask. Mrs. Wise. Idiot you, Humi woman grope. No more, never again. Give me the bandana. Here, stupid old buck. Troll give horn. In danger, we shall blow. Troll come. Thanks, I'll remember that. Now go to your mate. Maybe pick her some flowers first. Flowers? No! Flowers stench. Troll bring bird dung. Eject! What troll do in lair? Nothing. Nisi! Stench! The stench will run! Go! Another traveller. From where? Wait, let me guess. Hmm. From Tamaria. Had it at the tip of my tongue. So, what brings you to Bergen? Wait, I know. Business. Just what I thought. And you're... A witcher. Well, well. We don't often see witches here. Um, what do witches do anyway? We solve problems. Oh, I have a problem with my boyfriend. Did you find his entrails strewn on the porch and his head a few paces away? Because those are the kind of problems I solve. Thank <laughs> you. 
it again. Humans are strange. You repair armor, right? Right. You work just for your elves? Not just. You don't say much, do you? And they said you're grumpy. Let's hear it. See, when they're to marry, they become... Whether the bride's been ploughed, has a dowry, is diligent. Yet here we've a common girl. Saskia! Claim she's a virgin. And nobody questions her virtue. They just follow her to war. To death. What do you say to that? My pentacles intrigue you. Indeed. I'd like to see them. Let's start with introductions then. I'm Felicia Corey, and you're Geralt of Rivia. Why the surprised face? I heard about you in school. Whether you like it or not, you're a hero of contemporary history. And of the love stories we read beneath our blankets. You studied at Aratusa? Yes, though I'm still to finish my portion and fetish internship, which is why I'm here. And you're doing it under Philippa Eilhart's watchful eye. Any way I can help you? Help from a hero of our readings? Now that's drawing on sources for real. I'd be grateful. The locals are reluctant to buy magic items, and I really need to pass. Let's see what I can do.
Everyday lives and plunge into dreams. Exactly. The rich and the poor alike. And not just humans are that. Only Philippa Isleheart may enter. Don't let her die, Vatka. Don't 
try anything. Everything all right? Greetings. Ah, you finally given in. Started killing humans. Hey, Witcher. Started that a while ago, actually. Just wasn't something society was willing to acknowledge. Fortis death. Society acknowledged that. You know there's a price on your head. Yeah, I know. Too low for the risks involved, though. It's a bundle to us, Witcher. We have to pay for everything. Weapons, food, information. You have to send you. Jorvis will never learn of this. Careful! He killed them! I'll fight him! Don't risk it! We need to take him alive!
Don't try anything. Most of us don't like humans. Shove off! Greetings, Gwynblade. What could Philippa want? Why does she care about Vergen being free, independent? Like all sorceresses, she likes to dabble in politics. Not one of them would hesitate to sacrifice another life if it furthered their goals. Quite a one-sided opinion. All? None? Life's rather colorful. It's not all black and white. Hmm. Shades of gray, I think. I have no illusions about mages. You know the fate which the Queen of the Valley of Flowers reserved for the Alvan youth. Enid Anglina, known also as Francesca Finderbear, another sorceress. In exchange for the creation of an Alvan kingdom in Dolblathana, she sent the Squirtal to be butchered, while attacking Nilfgaard's foes from the rear. She had a chance to call it off. She could have opposed the Emperor of Nilfgaard and summoned the Squirrels to defend the Valley of Flowers. Why didn't she? In the name of a higher purpose. It's what the Emperor wanted. That's why we became bandits after the war. That's why elves are dying, our young murdered by the likes of Roach. And that's why I cannot trust Philippa Eilhart. Roach could be on the other side of the fog. In that case, I'll finally get him. I came close in Flotsam. Been after him for a while? Ever since he became leader of the Blue Stripes. During his first mission as commander, he ambushed one of my units, cut it down to the last elf. Surprised me for the first and last time. I've been more cautious since then. So it's a personal matter. Vengeance. A thing straight out of Dandelion's ballads. The safety of the Squirtal demands his death. Of the commanders first appointed to such units, he's the only one still alive. I notice there's no Temerian emblem in your collection. We should not claim something's done when it is not. You do realize that a dozen others will replace him when he's gone. Possibly dirtier foes, possibly worse. Better to have a known enemy, you say? That doesn't apply to Vernon. A more determined demon has never walked upon this earth. The longer he is active, the better he gets. I must put an end to it. Tell me about this Dwan for whom the Scoia'tael are ready to do battle. Saskia? She's no Dwan. Certainly not like the others. You've seen her. I doubt I need to explain. She's fighting for a Pontar Valley for dwarves, elves, and humans alike. I thought you despised humans. I may only be a warrior, but I'm no fool. This is the best we can hope for now, and it's better than the Valley of Flowers. I once met another Scoia'tael leader. Yavin. I knew him. He had beautiful dreams and desperately wanted me to share them. Asked the same of you, I heard. You know a lot about me. I try to know as much as I can about everyone. I'm a witcher. I remain neutral. I didn't take his side. Perhaps that is the correct attitude. Let things run their course. It's worse if we then wonder what could have been had we acted differently. I try to avoid that. Decisions should be evaluated before they're made, not after. How is it that we're on the same side today? Things change. Today I have different goals and different allies. Have you ever been to the Valley of Flowers? Dulblathana is nothing more than a vassal state of the Nilfgaardian Emperor. They call it the Land of Free Elves, but the Squirtel are not welcome. It's another in a string of painful lessons. But a free Pontar Valley could change that. It's been five years since the kingdom was established in Dolblathana. Over two thousand elves have settled there. Do you know how many children they've produced? A dozen or so. It's no longer the Valley of Flowers. It's the Valley of Sterile Elders. I'd love to see you tell Francesca that. Anything new about Letho? No. 
But I wager he's somewhere on the other side of the fog. I can feel it. You think you can repel Hensel's army? No. What do you mean, no? The fortifications and dwarven devices are simply not enough to hold off the Kedwenis. They are just too many. What do you plan to do? You'll see. One thing I can promise. I won't break any pledge I've made. You haven't had a chance to explain yourself. Your alliance with Letho. This is a good time. I suppose I owe it to you, Geralt. I don't know who they are exactly, nor who they're working for. I met Letho two months ago. He had escaped his pursuers in Edern, found me and suggested we trade services. Our scouts and forest hideaways in exchange for the heads of Foltest and Henselt. A good offer to begin with that only became better when we revealed only part of our secrets. It then turned out that Letho was not alone. Seret and Orcs were meant to kill Henselt. My warriors were to help them. As you know, this never came to pass. Kedmil. Greetings. What are you doing out here this late? Thinking. About what? About the approaching fight. As long as the Mist of Wraiths is up, there won't be a fight. I ponder something else. We women must leave the shadows, when fighting were equal to men, but off the battlefield. Women are no warriors. We do everything the men do, and as well as they do. Gender doesn't determine ability. You know why men command armies? Because they don't waste time on idle chatter. We could argue all night about the injustice of it, but until you show you can get something done, saying that you can won't change much. It won't be easy, but you could try to blaze a trail. A worthy endeavor in itself, I know. Thank you, Witcher. Godspeed. Fuck off, human. Don't bother me. Greetings! Don't try anything. Always in a hurry. You'll have a stroke. Oh, Witcher. I'm glad I found you. I've got something for you. We know each other? So surprised by a stranger bearing gifts. Ah, you humans. Egotistical barbarians you are. <laughs> I was in Flotsam when the massacre started. Just accept it. I won't take no for an answer. Thanks. What's the rush? I'll say it again. Nothing good in Humans, humans are strange. Nothing good. See, when they're to marry, they become terribly picky. I have to check everything. Whether the bride's been plowed, has a dowry, is diligent. <laughs>
Another one. You let one human in and in no time. Fight these balls! Yeah. Good thing you're here, Geralt. A rhyme for wonder? I'm no poet. I know, but you have good ideas sometimes. Yonder? Good! Writing a sonnet for your new muse? Better than that. I'm composing an anthem for Vergen. Want to hear the first version? No. Listen. May those who dream of freedom arise, seeing the sight of liberty with their eyes. Let us go together, become our brother. The choice is yours, you know there's no other. How far shall we venture in this great wonder? Elf, dwarf, and human set forth together yonder. Like it? It rhymes, kind of. All right then, tell me what you discovered. Is it my imagination or have you become a propaganda mouthpiece for the court? You know what I really like about this place? There is no court. People are with Saskia because they want to be, not because they have to or should be. You have a tendency to go from one extreme to the other. And you have a tendency to shit on every ideal, even the most noble. I try to take an objective view of the world. Yet you've joined us. You have, haven't you? I'm on Vergen's side, at this time. Don't want to commit, eh? Well, Vergen isn't some whore you can just screw and forget. You're right. Once you're on a teetering bridge, you might as well cross it. Finally, spoken like a man. Oh, sorry, that was racist. Wise words, Witcher. Yorvith seems to have changed. Everyone changes here. Except you, of course. I'm not sure I like changes of that kind. I find them hard to believe. You're an idiot. Saskia's is giving Yorvith a chance. If he uses it well, he'll finally be able to emerge from that hole in the ground he's been living in for years. That's the least of it. If he plays his cards right, he can win everyone's respect. People only remember what they want to remember. I suppose you're right. A free state in the Pontar Valley could turn Yorvith from a brigand into a knight. Which is why it's useless to wonder why he's changed. I wouldn't trust him with my child. But who knows what he'll become. My memories and feelings seem inextricably linked. I seem to be recovering both. I believe Yennefer's alive and I'll eventually find her. Triss, Yennefer, that's some life you lead, my friend. First off, we have no idea if Yennefer's still alive. Second, we have no idea if Triss is alive. Hmm, true. You seem to have two women, when in fact, you don't even have one. Their kind doesn't die easily. I believe I'll find Triss, alive. And Yennefer? I won't know what to do about her until I see her. My memory's coming back. It's just bits and pieces so far, but I can feel them coming together, forming a whole. What have you remembered? A voyage. An endless trek south. I was following Yennefer and the wild hunt. I have no idea how long. It got cold. Only old people were left in the villages I passed through. But they all refused to tell me what had happened to the young. To their children. I finally pressed a man for information. He blamed it on wolf packs, on an outburst of drowners and rot fiends. No one mentioned the wild hunt. Did you catch up to the hunt? I don't know. Got anything you can follow? I'm looking. You once mentioned some elven poems about the hunt. 
I believe I said they could exist, and they'd be old. I don't know any, but look around. You're pretty good at finding things. One thing's for sure, Letho's not on this side of the fog. If you wanted to pursue the assassin, you should have gone to Hensel's camp with Roach. Just because I went after Triss doesn't mean I've forgotten about Letho. Why do you care so much? It's not your coop or your chickens. My reputation's a little more important than hens in a coop. Until I find Letho, I'll be considered a murderer. No one thinks you're a Kingslayer here. You're dead wrong. They treat me well because they need me. That could change in an instant. You're probably right. Let's say you catch him. What then? He'll pay for his crime. Punishments vary. But there's only one punishment for murder. Travels the lands, killing monsters. And there goes my trade with Kedwin. Hello? Hugged a bear or what? Godspeed, Witcher! Eh? That's a Witcher, God not speed, a human. Godspeed, Witcher! So, no snaps? Don't forget about the monsters in the pit. Cecil, do you know anyone who fought in the war three years ago? I did. Did you fight here at Vergen? Of course. Philip claims you know a bit about the battle. That old kook insult, called king by some, thought that Adernians were bumpkins who'd ship bricks as soon as his troops crossed the river. Why did he attack Edern? According to Hensult, Upper Edern is the ancient legacy of the Kedwini crown, and must be returned to the mother country. Brazen farter. That brazen farter had a point. If you read some history, you'll know that 300 years ago this land belonged to Kedwin. Lord of Crab! 700 years ago the elves reigned here, and a million years ago these lands were the domain of the worms. If things worked that way, every king could invade a neighboring land and claim his right to do so because an ancestor took a dump there. All right. Hensel wanted to conquer Upper Edern. What then? He rolled in, got hammered, and rolled out. Cecil, that doesn't help me much. It wasn't a battle. It was a slaughter. 
If I try speaking of it, I'll see it all again. I don't want... The ghosts of the fallen fight in the mist. They turn into horrible creatures called Draugrs. Adernians, Kedweni, men, elves, and dwarves too. Bloody hell. No peace even after death. I want to help them, but I need to know more about the battle. Very well. Listen. A beautiful day that grew hot later. Very hot. When Vandergrift attacked in the afternoon, he sent the Dun Banner at the fore. Many of our lads shit themselves at the mere sight of their standard, but we had a surprise of our own. Under the cover of night, we prepared fire pits. Our archers lit them up at the right moment. I still can't believe we managed to fool their scouts. If it wasn't for that ambush, we wouldn't be speaking today. They likely wouldn't be in Upper Edern at all. We decimated the Dun Banner, but that was only the beginning. Seltkirk was our commander. Everywhere he appeared, the Kidwenis gave ground. He wreaked havoc among them. Hearts rose at the mere sight of his armor. Then, Vandergrift himself entered the fray. Seltkirk met him in the middle of the field. In the end, Vandergrift killed Seltkirk. A terrible death that sent the Adernian ranks into disarray. I thought it was the end of us. Then the sky fell, as if the stars themselves had decided to avenge the death of a great knight. Fire covered the battlefield. Nobody sought the enemy. They were all looking for somewhere to flee. Yes, there were no more friends and enemies. Only the living and the dead. They say it was the doing of a Kidweni sorceress who wanted revenge on Vandergrift. Could be true, as Henseld had her executed right after the battle. Did you see the duel between Seltkirk and Vandergrift? I stood half a furlong from them. Never seen a fight like it. Probably never will again. They'd already met once, at a jousting tournament in Ard Craig. Selkirk won there. He beat on the visitor so hard he broke his sword. Selkirk was a true knight, the last of his breed. Vandergrift was so pissed off after that tournament he hanged the smith who made his sword and ordered a special one from a sorcerer. I bet he cut down Selkirk with that new sword. Vandergrift is dead. What happened to his sword? Saskia's got it. Good thing, too. Only her hand can tame the hatred enchanted in that sword. After the battle, when the flames abated, the scavengers came. They stole everything. Imagine. Not a single keepsake or Selkirk in the Hall of Edon. His brother babbles something about a gauntlet, but he's a lying dog. You captured the Dunbanner standard? Hensel's choice troops, and not a one survived. The visitors sent them to their deaths, refused to give them reinforcements. He was a monster in human form. The men of the Dun were real swaggerers. Killed a lot of our lads, but for every Dunner, there were seven Adernians. They had no chance. Aye, we captured their standard. We buried what was left of them in the crypts beyond Vergen. Their standard lies with them. Worthy foes are to be respected, even in death. I'm going to need that standard. Remember anything from before the battle? As if it was yesterday. Hensolt's troops crossed the Pontar the third day after the autumn equinox. Edon had good spies, so we were ready for them, and Selkirk lined up our troops along the hills. Our hearts rose at the sight of the banners of Wengerberg, Aldersburg and Gullet fluttering in the wind. Knights and armored infantry side by side in our ranks. Even the peasants had their regiments. The dwarves were on the left flank. Over five thousand strong we were. Nobody caring about race or background, like never before. Only King Demavend was missing. But he must have had more important business than defending his country. You saw the Kidwenis cross the river? From afar. I saw Vandergriff leading 4,000 heavily armed men. Many a heart sank when we saw the elite bearheads or the armored banners from Ard Kareg. The Dun Banner was in the middle, veterans of Brenna. As soon as he set foot on Adernian land, Vandergriff climbed a hill and surveyed the area, as if it was his fief. Son of a bitch was as sure of himself as ever. Upon spying him, <laughs> I remember the dwarves all dropped their trousers and showed him their asses. Then Selkirk stepped out in front of us. 
His white armor shone in the sun. We were afraid a kid when the arbalist would shoot him, but they too stood as if frozen, and Selkirk just looked at them and bowed ever so slightly. Thanks, Cecil. That was helpful. I think I know what I need to lift the curse now. Madam Eilhart claims you need four symbols. The standard symbolizes death. Vandegrift's sword stands for hatred. What about the other two? I have a feeling Philippa has a handle on the rest. Here's hoping you're right. You wanted to discuss something. I've got Triss's bandana. Have you learned anything? Triss was here. Letho forced her to teleport. Why would he? There are easier ways to travel. Two of Letho's comrades, probably those responsible for Demoven's death, were hiding among the Scoyatel. When it became evident in Flotsam that the Kingslayer wanted to dispose of Yorvith, the Scoyatel leader gave the order to eliminate them. Letho had to reach the unit before the Elven messengers did. He could only do that by teleporting. I assumed that Triss wanted to teleport to me, but she missed the mark and they ended up in the gullies. What happened next? Letho left her in a gully, wounded. He probably thought that she'd diversify the local troll's diet. He himself went to see the Elves and massacred the unit with his comrades. They're somewhere on the other side of the fog. What about Triss? She escaped from the troll. Everything suggests she's somewhere in the area. I can assure you she is not in Vergen. She has to be here. Locate her. I'll try, but it will take some time. Have you learned anything else? Sheila ordered Letho and Triss killed. I can't believe that. Believe it. I ran into some mercenaries she enlisted to kill Letho and anyone found with him. She must have meant the other Kingslayers. Are you sure she knew Triss was with him? Are you so sure of Sheila? There was something going on between her and Triss. I sensed a lot of tension. A misunderstanding. Maybe. Let's find Triss and clear everything up. I need some time. What's going on out there? Let's see. What's going on? The peasants want to take Pitchfox to King Demoven's son. Why? The Dragonslayer's servant is spreading rumors that Stennis poisoned Saskia. The commoners are in an uproar. They want to dispense justice. Where's the prince? Barricaded himself in his room, guarded by nobles. For the moment, the peasants are still respectful, but they are feverish. A fight is inevitable. Help us out. The situation is dire. I'm going to inform the other nobles. Dogs growl at cats. Cats hiss at the dogs. Forget those animalistic similes and take care of it. I'll try to locate Triss. And should anything happen to Prince Stennis, remember. We need his blood. I remember. 